welcome, welcome. We are live. Now, today we're going to talk about getting hot traffic, unlimited hot traffic to your affiliate marketing link so you can make more money because this is the currency of affiliate marketing, traffic, 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 traffic. So well, we're going to spend a lot of time today talking about how to get traffic. And any the good news is you can all do it. You don't have to be special. You don't have to be talented. Anybody can do this, even new beginner accounts. And I'm going to prove it to you, especially on TikTok. TikTok does not care if you only have two videos on your channel or a thousand. It treats it the same, which is great news for us. And we're going to talk about a variety of social media platforms. And we're going to talk about arbitrage. And I'm going to put together a cheat list, a recipe, a formula that you can take away with you. And you can use this today and to start getting more views to your channels today. I can guarantee it. So this is how it works. Okay, so what is arbitrage? Well, there's a few definitions, but it's in terms of affiliate marketing, in content marketing, blogging, YouTube, content arbitrage can refer to a form of marketing that relies on leveraging the temporary differences. Okay. Sorry, I didn't have my mic. Hopefully you could hear me okay. If not, you should be able to hear me now. So arbitrage is the differences in leveraging your knowledge in different audiences. So for example, if news just broke out on Twitter a few hours ago, there's a good chance that it hasn't broke out on Facebook yet. So you could take that news, you could post it on Facebook and you can leverage it and you can go viral or vice versa or YouTube or whatever. And that's basically the idea behind content arbitrage. There's also another way to use arbitrage. Another definition would be to take content that just went viral on say Facebook reels that just came out this week or yesterday or a couple of days ago. And you can take that exact same content. You can repost something very similar on another platform and it will likely do just as well. Okay. Now I'm not talking about ripping off people's content. I'm talking about the idea behind it. We're gonna re we're gonna repackage it as your own thing, but we're gonna have the idea still there and it so it'll go viral. And I'll explain how to do that in a minute or two. Okay. So that's basically arbitrage. So what you're gonna do, how does this works? There's three steps. Okay. So you're either gonna go to Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok. Those would be a good place to start. And you're gonna search in your niche. So if your niche is, let's say, dogs then you're going to search for dogs. If you're in crypto gaming, you're going to search for crypto gaming. So for example, here, um, my side hustle, my, my, just for my example, my niche is side hustles. So I just went and I typed in side hustles. And what I would do is look for, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> something recent that just came out. So here's a video that came out July 25th. And that guy's got 200,000 views. So I would use that video is an idea or uh, let's see if we can find one more anything else recent here's one that came out on july 24th and so you get the idea okay so i would probably use those two videos now the next step step two <clears throat> excuse me losing my voice step two is you remake it in your own style and i'm going to show you how to do that and then you take all the elements that are viral in that video and you post them into your video to make it yours. And then you repost it on another platform. <clears throat> okay. For, so for example, let's use, again, going back to the TikTok side hustle niche, cause I'm in that there's this great new account by this person called Taylor um, hustle. And she's actually an employee of Chad Bartlett and he made a whole video on it. And it, this is actually his employee. She's brand new. It's like, look how many videos she's got. Barely any. She just started like 30 days ago. Today is August 14th. So this is a really new account. And she's got one video on here. She's already got 15,000 followers, which is amazing. And she's got one video on here that did a million, uh, 760,000 views. Okay. So what I did is I took this video right here. It's about laziest jobs that pay really well. And I remade my own. And I posted it yesterday and it just blew up yesterday. I posted this and now it's at 86,000 views just blew right up 
and I just made my own version of it. So I didn't put, I put my own face on there. Laziest job ever that gives you sick. Okay. And I, all I did was I used the same hook. Okay. Same hook. That's it. So I re I repackaged it with my branding, my face, but it's the same script, same wording, same, uh, same thing. It's about Netflix, a Netflix job. Okay. So what I did was here, I made a little checklist. Okay. We'll go down here to my checklist. We're going to go through this and these are, this is the, your recipe. Okay. So all I did was I copied the hook line, same hook line, <clears throat> right? I just use the same text bubble. Nothing is different. Just use that. Make sure you use the exact same hashtags. I use the exact same hashtags as her. Same colors as the text bubbles. I think I changed one or two colors, but I did use some of the same colors. Put them in the same position. So that what that means is hers is down at the bottom. Okay. So I think I did similar. No, I put it, I plastered mine. I plastered mine at the bottom, but then I made another, I made it. I tried to make it a little better and I added my own bubble, but then I put the same bubble that she had. See, so I'm not recreating the wheel. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. We're just, we're trying to bypass all that. And we're just going right to what works. Just do what's already working. Anyone can blow up their video. She did this. She's brand new. And she's she doesn't even do affiliate marketing. She was just an experiment that Chad did. She's just um, a virtual assistant that helps them. And she just started making videos. And she's never been on video before. She doesn't even like being on camera, but she did it anyway. And uh, so beginners can do this too. So you can do this too. You do not have to have a lot of followers. You do not have to be talented. Anyone could blow up their channel, okay? So going back to this recipe, place the text bubbles in the same position. Okay, we talked about that. Now, post for your time zone, okay? So what that means is you're gonna go into your analytics and you're gonna look at your seven top videos and you're gonna look and see when they put, when you posted them. And those would probably be your most best times for you. So if we go over to, let's say my channel here, let's go over to my channel. I think I can see my analytics. Uh, where is it? I'm not logged in. Well, if you go right here and you just hit analytics, okay? Um, it'll take you, log in, go to your analytics and it'll show you your top videos. And you just look at your times that you posted and whatever videos are posted, that's your times that you should be posting at for your time. If you don't, if you're brand new, you don't have any videos, then my, you can use my trending times. My best times for me over the last eight months has been <clears throat> 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10.30 p.m., and 11 p.m. Those have been my most viral times, but yours might differ, okay? And that's for your time zone. Okay, so let's move on. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, you can just drop a comment and I'll try to get to your questions at the end. Use the similar script in words. So maybe you don't know this, but the logarithm in TikTok is copying, it's tracking every word you say in your video. Every word is kind of like, um, you could say a formula or a code. So TikTok, when it hears words, from other videos that went viral, TikTok already knows that that video did really well. That video kept people on the platform a long time talking about Netflix. So when it hears, so she's talking about Netflix, I'm talking about Netflix. So when it hears me talking about Netflix, it already knows from her video that it went viral and kept people on the platform a long time. So it's going to do the same thing for me. So did mine go to a million views? No. She got 700,000, but 80,000 views is nothing to sneeze at. Like that got me a bunch of leads yesterday and today, and it got me about 15 email opt-ins. So 80,000 views is nice. So you're remember, this is increasing your chances to go viral. So if I were to do continue to use this recipe and go on her channel and maybe pick any other viral videos she did, I'm sure I could get great results as well, okay? And this just isn't for... Um, my niche, it's for any niche. And I'm going to show you how to do that in another niche on, well, maybe we'll use YouTube for the next example. Okay. But make the, make it the exact same duration of time. Now, this is interesting. I posted, I did two versions of this video, this Netflix video I did because I got two TikTok channels. Maybe I'll show you my other channel. 
one one channel got the one video got 500 views and then the other video that i made got 80,000 views this is it's at 88,000 views now if you go to my other account rob's money it only i made the same video only got 500 views and the only difference in videos really was that one was 50 seconds long and the other was 30 seconds long so very interesting now her video was 30 seconds long so I made one exactly 30 seconds and I made one longer because I thought maybe it would do better. But so you stick with, stick with, um, you know, just the same thing. You don't need to deviate too much. Um, do not. Oh yeah. And do not use words like click link or bio link in your video. I don't think TikTok likes it. I don't have any proof, but I've heard through the grapevine that it could not it could be affecting your, uh, because it's taking people off the platform. And just remember the number one goal of TikTok, its primary purpose in life is to keep you on TikTok. That's its primary goal. So it's going to do anything. So if you look at it through that filter, are you doing something that's going to keep people on TikTok or not? And if you're not, then it's probably not going to like it. So it's not going to push out your video. Okay. So it makes sense to just not use words like click. I just say, visit my profile. Okay, and add your own twist. So it does not need to be exact. Like you see, mine isn't an exact duplicate of hers. Maybe if I made it exactly, exactly like hers, I would have got more views, but um, it doesn't need to be exact. So add your own spin on it. Now, if you're one of those people who doesn't like to add their own, to add their face, you don't wanna be on camera, then what I would have done is I would have taken the same script that she took. I would have listened to her video, wrote down some notes, and I would have just turned it into a video with text bubbles. I would have made a lot of text bubbles and I would have edited, you can ex edit the text bubbles to be voiceover. There's different voices, like 15 different voices to choose from. And I just would have used a um, generic video. I would have went over to say something like pexels.com. I'll quickly show you. There's pexels.com. You can get tons of background videos. So let's say you're, if you're in the, you go to videos, okay. If you're in this, say the dog niche, let's do crypto gaming. There's, I think there's somebody mentioned they're in the crypto gaming space. So let's do crypto, let's see what kind of videos come up. Okay, these are all free that you're allowed to use without repercussions, okay? And you can just download any of these. So that's how it works. And then let's go back, remember the steps now. So now you got your video, you found your video, you found a viral video, go to step three, repost on another platform. So I would take this video that I made now and I plan on posting it on YouTube and on Facebook because remember that's arbitrage. Arbitrage is you're posting it to other channels. Like this is, this is still on TikTok. So it's probably, uh, it's a very good chance it's going to do well on YouTube and Pinterest and Instagram reels and Facebook reels. So I would repost them to all the platforms. Okay. And there's endless amounts of content. So that you can come up with. You'll never run out of viral content. So if we go back to uh, my my example of side hustles, let me find side hustles. There's always plenty of videos. So let's say that I've used everything up on TikTok. Let's go take a look at YouTube just for something different. Okay. And it wants to load really slowly. So let's look at crypto. Uh, let's look at crypto space. Cryptocurrency, let's see, let's take a look. So you just put in the search bar, crypto. Okay, and then I would go over to the filters here and I would look at maybe this week and then I would scroll down and I would look for videos that did well, uh, viral. So uh, maybe like there's one there, 86,000 views. So I would use, I would try to make duplicate this guy's video and I would do, I would talk about Arethium holders, a 10 hour warning, a new CPI. Let's see if there's something with more views. There's a 56,000, uh, anything else? 33,000, okay. And the newer, the newer it is, the better. So yeah, it looks like 60,000 was the most in the last, oh, there's an 86,000, I talked about that one. So maybe this one, you know, the 60,000 view video here, I would currency trading platform, uh, Coinbase, annou Coinbase announces larger than expected loss. 
So that you could talk about that if you're in the crypto space or any of these might be more your thing. And you would just go in, watch it, and then the same thing. You're going to use the same title. You're going to use the same descriptions. You're going to talk about the same things. And then with your own spin on it, your face, or you just do a faceless video, like I said. And then one little hack here, one little tip. If you want to reuse some of these videos, you click on Creative Commons. And then you can literally download any of these videos in, that are in the came up in the Creative Commons space. You can repost these to your own channel. And what you'll want to do, like say it's say you chose this one and you're repurposing this uh, because it's Creative Commons, you have to tweak it. You have to do something to it. You have to change either the beginning or the end of it. You have to add a new title. You have to add something just little, like you can add a new call to action. You can add new music background, something, and, and you re-edit it. And you can use canva.com to re-edit it. And then you just repost it to your YouTube and then you give them, you give, you just name the creditor in your video where you got it and you're fine and then you'll be fine you can use that so there's your hacks okay so hopefully that makes sense and anybody can use this for any niche dogs fitness anything and you'll have endless content so what i do is every day every morning i, I do my content daily so in the morning my first priority as a social creator is I go and I look at the viral videos. What's viral? What's what's trending? And I look at the last few days or the last week, and then I'll I'll just remake it. Okay, um, and that's it. And you could just go on and on forever, and you'll have much like the the fact that this video just exploded to eighty eight thousand views, and it's it's an original content, but it's not my idea. So I just used the same hook line, talked about the same exact thing that she did, and boom. And the same thing can happen for you. So hopefully that makes sense. And for example, if, you, if you're one of those people who wants to do a faceless video, let me show you a faceless video that I made recently. Where is it? Uh, I got a text video in here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? I used that pexels.com that I was talking about. I can't find it right now. Where is it? Anyway. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. So if you go to my channel, you'll see there's a couple of videos where I don't show my face. I just use text bubbles and um, you can do the same thing. Can't find it right now. Just see my face everywhere. But anyway, so that's it. So let, let me just check if there's any questions. And then uh, if not, then I'll jump off here. If you are watching this after the live, you can post comments, post all your questions in the comments below, okay? And I will answer them. I'm on the group every day. So I don't see any questions in the chat right now, but I might not be looking in the right spot. It's been a while since I've used Zoom, but um, let me just stop screen sharing. Let's see what comes up. Chat box. Anybody there? No, nope, don't see any questions. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, and the last thing, if you want to do this and you want to learn how to do affiliate marketing and you want to monetize and make a lot of money with affiliate marketing, then you can go over to um, my uh, link in the comments below. Okay, I'll leave a link and I have a free five-day course that you get a trial for 14 days. It's totally free. You get funnels for like any profitable niche you can think of. There, I have funnels for every niche um, and it comes with an entire course that walks you through step-by-step step for the next five days. It's called the first commission challenge where you try to get your commission in the next five days. So uh, go for it. Let me know how it goes and you get ongoing support and help from me when you do that course. And uh, if you have any questions about that, um, you can again, post below and again, go sign up right in there and, um, I'll see you on the other side. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for joining and have a super awesome day.